These would be the autoimmune cells. A new discovery may provide a clue to why people develop type 1 diabetes. Researchers from the University of Florida say the size of your pancreas could be a risk factor for the disease. Researchers examined the weight of pancreases from deceased organ donors, including some who had been at high risk of developing type 1 diabetes. They found that the pancreas was about 50% smaller in people with type 1 diabetes. Researchers also found that the weight of the pancreas was about 25% lighter in people who were at higher risk for developing the disease. It implies that if there's a smaller pancreas, there may be a smaller number, fewer number, of insulin-producing beta cells. Those cells produce the insulin that people need in order to process their glucose. And the lack of those beta cells is what caused, causes diabetes. Type 1 diabetes, previously known as juvenile diabetes, is a chronic disease that mainly affects children and young adults. Researchers now want to know if people with type 1 diabetes are born with a smaller pancreas or if it's a side effect of the disease. The new findings provide important clues for researchers working on a cure for the disease. If this finding bears out in clinical studies, we have to look much earlier on in people who are at high risk for type 1 diabetes and look at ways that we can boost their number of beta cells, for instance. At the University of Florida, I'm Chris Bilowich.